Good evening, everybody. Good evening. And I'd like a special welcome to my, my harmonica students. <laughs> See, this is how you win the crowd over even before you play. So, um, my name's Dave Schroeder. I'm the director of jazz studies at NYU Steinhardt in New York City. And uh, we're, we're very honored to be here tonight at NYU DC uh, to put on this special program that's Combo Nouveau. That's my faculty group at NYU and faculty and students tonight and special guests. And, and I just want to introduce everybody now so that we can get, get, get through all this and because uh, everybody here is very special. I can't thank you enough for coming tonight because it's going to be, we've worked hard to create something special for you. Um, let me introduce the people in the band. On, um, on the drums, all the way from Missouri, Columbia, Missouri, and uh, he's played with people like Yo-Yo Ma and the Silk Road and Simone Shaheen, and please welcome John Hadfield. And, and these guys are all my faculty here. And on guitar, uh, this gentleman has played with people like Dave Douglas and Paul Motion and Simone Shaheen and so many people. And he's all types of music, uh, uh, what was it, too good and bad. There's two, both kind, two <laughs> kinds of music. Uh, please welcome Brad Shepik. Our bassist tonight is from uh, Teaneck, New Jersey. <laughs> Originally from Philly, though. <laughs> and he's worked with greats like Miles Davis and Stan Getz and, and even Sonny and Cher and uh, Charo, <laughs> believe it or not. So here's the, he's been on the faculty longer than me. I think you're the last one that's longer than me. Monday's 30 years, okay. <laughs> Please welcome Mike Richmond. Uh, the only one wearing pink tonight. So, and, and she's, she's, uh, she's been, she did her undergraduate at NYU back in the 90s, and then she came back a couple years ago and is working on her master's, and we're gonna pull her into the doctoral program soon. And uh, she's, you're gonna see multi-instrumentalist, and uh, I'm not gonna tell you everything she does, we're gonna leave a few surprises, but uh, she's, a, she's a master's student right now. How about a warm round of applause for Mary Gatchel. Our pianist is actually our composer in residence at NYU, and he's been uh, a close friend and confidant with me for nearly 30 years now. Um, he was the director of the Finnish Radio Orchestra in Helsinki, and he's, he's arranged for people like Stevie Wonder and Lady Gaga and all over the place. And, and in fact, he's the composer for tonight's piece, The One World Suite. So how about a warm round of applause for Rich Shamaria. <laughs> and the gentleman over there, is, uh, <laughs> and I, I don't say that lightly, he is a gentleman. Um, he's, uh, for, for those of you who are, are jazz fans and, and know the, the, the Steinhardt Jazz Program, I actually have, I've, I'm fortunate, we have had funding over the years to create an interview series on YouTube. So we have about 50 or 60 interviews with some of the most amazing people, people like Wayne Shorter and uh, uh, Joe Lovano and, and uh, I can't even think of, Mike Minieri was lit recently, but uh, John Schofield. And, um, but I've been fortunate to go around and find these people. And I was in LA and I, I, I said, you know, one of my favorite musicians in the world uh, turns out to be this guy, and I found him. And so I interviewed him, and uh, we've become very good friends over the years. And he's gonna tell you more about his music for the second half of our show. 
but I'm so proud to have him here tonight. How about a warm round of applause for Mr. Tom Scott. Uh, we have two guest speakers tonight who, who's going to work through our One World Suite, and I'd like to uh, welcome Carl Sumter here. And also we have uh, one of the great mentors in uh, NYU DC, and he's been so lovely to us every time we come down here. Uh, and and we're, we're so honored to play in this great hall because of him. And that's Mr. Ronald Abramson. Okay, so what we're going to have is some uh, little snippets of speeches between this music. This music, uh, I don't need to define it because um, it's going to define itself through uh, the, the conversation we have. But each one of the movements, I guess you don't have that, are based on, um, on uh, our Earth, our planet. And this is a, a positive message, a musician's message. Uh, on climate change and our environment and how vital it is for us. Um, so I'd just like to uh, make the first comments. <clears throat> Mark Twain stated, travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness. And many of our people need it sorely on these accounts, broad, wholesome, charitable views of men and things cannot be acquired by vegetating in one little corner of the earth all one's life. Music is universal in its language and speaks to everyone individually. The messages conveyed through music transcend borders, break down walls, elicit conversations, and forms communities of trust grounded in compassion and understanding. Jazz icon Wayne Shorter once told me that music offers us a ticket to the universe, a portal that allows anyone to transcend through their existence through self-expression, individual, individuality, and non-invasive way to connecting with others. As musicians, we are most fortunate to be accepted wherever we travel, greeted by all, as we bring positivity, goodwill, and hope, as we share our process called creative, as we share our process called creative problem solving through music. Now, my favorite quote that I found, I'm going to share with you about the process of music. Here it is. Of all the fine arts, music is that which most influences the passions and that, therefore, which a legislator should do most to encourage. A few bars of moral music composed by a master hand cannot fail to affect the feelings and have much more influence than a well-written book on morality, which convinces our reason without altering our habits which convinces our reason without altering our habits. That was written in 1797 by Napoleon Bonaparte. So, okay. How about that? Look what happened to him, right? Okay, it's time. I'm going to invite uh, Mr. Abramson up to be our first speaker and our first speech piece which is called Prelude to the Dawn. Go ahead. This is by Jacques Cousteau. There are no boundaries in the real planet Earth. No United States, no Soviet Union, no China, no Taiwan. Rivers flow unimpeded across the swaths of continents. The persistent tides, the pulse of the sea, do not discriminate. They push against all the varied shores on Earth. Thank you. 
This is from Albert Einstein. We are slowed down sound and light waves. A walking bundle of frequencies turned into the cosmos. We are souls dressed up in sacred biochemical garments and our bodies are the instruments through which our souls play their music.
According to the UN Committee, the Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, around one million species face extinction, many within, deca within decades because of humans. Three quarters of all the land on Earth has been significantly altered in just the past 50 years. Experts claim this is the 11th hour and we must act now, consuming less, polluting less, and having fewer children. Despite the ominous picture, it is not too late to make a difference, but only if we start now at every level from local to global. Adding that this would require an overhaul of economic systems and a shift in political and social mindsets. Ours is the first generation with the tools to see how the earth has been changed by people at our own peril. We're also the last generation with the opportunity to influence the course of many of those changes. Now is the time to act, not half-heartedly and incrementally, but drastically and boldly. So this is a Native American proverb. We do not inherit the earth from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. This next piece is called The Clouds. One, two,
Charles Dickens. Have a heart that never hardens, and a temper that never tires, and a touch that never hurts. We, Mahatma Gandhi, what we are doing to the forests of the world is but a mirror reflection of what we are doing to ourselves and to one another. <laughs> this is called Northeast Sky.
Scott on the tenor saxophone. Rich Shamaria, pianist, composer. The next piece is called One World.
the, the One World Suite, Rick Shamaria, composer, pianist. So now it's time for everybody to participate. Pull your harmonicas out, you, yeah. you harmonica players. <laughs> Okay, so for those of you who missed our six o'clock lesson and you have a harmonica, you can actually still play along. How about that? Okay, so when we talk about unity and involving people in the world with climate change and, and uh, issues with the environment, it's what we were talking about earlier with uh, the harmonicas. It's like, don't think of it as playing harmonica is difficult. Oh my God, I'll never be able to do this. It's actually simply unfamiliar. So if we learn to familiarize ourselves with, with not only the harmonica and music, but with the environment and these issues, I think we have a shot at doing something great. So now, let's hear your harmonicas. Excellent. So this piece is called The Oceans, and when you guys are all playing like this and, and breathing in and breathing out, it sounds like a big ocean. <laughs> we actually did this last spring in September for the International Day of Peace, and we had 500 harmonica players in Washington Square Park. So um, let's just do it. We'll play this a couple times, and we'll just see if you, if you can't play the melody. If I know there were a couple NYU students that were working extra hard <laughs> to play those. And, and, uh, but here it is. This is the oceans. We're going to play it nice and slow. Even if you can't play the melody, make some noise because we're all part of the same ocean. Okay? In fact, I had something I wanted to read. It says, so this is for the ocean. What we know is a drop. What we don't know is an ocean. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Let's, we'll play the melody first, and then you guys can come in next.
band, the band, everybody. Now, was that fun or what? That was fun, right? Okay. Unity. Okay. Hey, thanks, everybody. Don't go away because the best part of tonight is coming right up. We're going to take about a 10-minute break and reset for the great Tom Scott. So stick around. We'll be right back.